Now, over the last lectures, we saw how to use CSS transitions and animations. And as I mentioned, using them is absolutely fine. Now, what's one limitation of using these animations though? We can see it if we use the developer tools to inspect our DOM. If we do this here, we see that our modal div and the backdrop div are always present. They're just not visible because we're actually animating this here. Now, that of course means that all our code, all our HTML code is always in the DOM and just not displayed because the opacity is zero. This might not be what we want. It populates our DOM with a lot of elements, which slows it down a little bit and which also might not be the best case or the best way to do for accessibility. And it is not very reactish if we in the end are back to having to control the display of things with just CSS. It's also not super bad. We do it like this in our burger boulder in the end. And especially for this modal or some side drawer menu, this might be perfectly fine. But let's say we really want to ensure that we show and hide this differently. By not passing the show and hide property like that, but instead by using our modal is open state to really show or hide the backdrop and modal elements. I can of course do this by using a ternary expression where I check if this state modal is open is true. If it is, I want to render the modal, otherwise I render null. And I use the exact same logic for the backdrop to either show the backdrop or render nothing. This is rendering conditional content as you learned it throughout the course. If we go back and if we click open modal, we just see it move away here actually. Well, the reason for this is that inside the modal, we're still using the show prop to add the open or closed classes. And since we don't pass the show prop anymore here on the modal and also not on the backdrop, well, it is always considered to be false and therefore inside the modal, always the modal closed class is attached and place the out animation. We could of course fix this by still passing show on both. So we could set show on both to this state modal is open. We do it like this. We go back, we still have an in animation and we now see of course that the element is added to the DOM. But if I click dismiss, we don't get an out animation because the element is instantly removed. The reason for this is that react in our app.js file doesn't wait for re-rendering this JSX and therefore removing the modal and the backdrop when the state changes for our animation to finish because it's not aware of that animation. And it's good that it doesn't scan our elements which are to be removed for possibly running CSS animations. That would be a performance nightmare. So here we now see a limitation we have with CSS animations and transitions. Animating in, showing it, did actually still work because adding the element, the modal, simply now also adds the CSS class and the animation therefore plays. But removing happens instantly. And that of course means that we get a kind of a bad behavior or look here. Now for that, we need other tools to manage this. Now let's have a look at which tools that would be over the next lectures.